Hello everyone, welcome to MS Active Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to manage user accounts in Azure Active Directory. We need to access and log into the Azure Active Directory portal. You can access the portal using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. On my dashboard, I'm going to click on Azure Active Directory under Favorites. We are using the user account with global administrator role for this video and that we can verify here. Under Manage, I'm going to click on Users. First, we will see the steps to update user account information. There is more information available in a user's profile than what you are able to add during the user's creation. All this additional information is optional and can be added as needed by your organization. Click on the user account, for example, taste user 2. The user profile page appears. Click on add it to edit the profile information. You can select a thumbnail image for the user's account. This picture appears in Azure Active Directory and on the user's personal pages such as the myapps.microsoft.com page. To select an image file, you need to click here. Remember, the maximum size supported is 2 MB. Under Identity section, you can add or update an additional identity values for the user such as a married last name. You can set this name independently from the values of first name and last name. In the job info, you can add any job related information such as the user's job title, department or manager. Here, I'm going to specify user's department, for example, tasting team. You can specify the company name as well. Under setting section, you have option to decide whether the user can sign in to Azure Active Directory tenant. If you select Yes option, then user is not able to sign in to the Azure Active Directory tenant. You can also specify user's location. Uh, let me click on this drop down arrow and let's select India. This is different from user's country or region attribute. Under contact information, you can add any relevant contact information for the user except for some user's phone or mobile contact information. Only a global administrator can update user's contact information because those informations are required in resetting user's password. Here, I am also going to specify user's country which is going to be India in my case. See, you can specify this information as per your organization's requirement. For authentication methods, I'll create separate videos on it. Link will be given in the description area later on. After updating a user information, to save this, at top bar, click on save button to save the changes. We'll get a confirmation that it has successfully updated our user's profile information. Let me close it and let's go back to the user's page. Next, we will check out the steps to delete the existing user account. To do it, you must have a global administrator or user administrator role assignment to delete users in your organization. Global admins can delete any users including other admins. On other hand, user administrators can delete any non-admin users, help desk administrators and other user administrators. Let's select the user you want to delete from your Azure Active Directory tenant, for example, test user 3. So let me select test user 3 and to delete it, we simply need to click on a delete user. On confirmation window, click on OK to delete the selected user test user 3. We'll get a confirmation that test user 3 has been deleted successfully. The user is deleted and now no longer appears on the all users page. Remember, when a user is deleted, any licenses consumed by the user are made available for other users. The user can be seen on the deleted users page for the next 30 days and can be restored during that time. 
during that 30 day window the user account can be restored along with all its properties after that 30 day window passes the permanent deletion process is automatically started you can view your restorable users restore a deleted user or permanently delete a user account from deleted users page let's click on deleted users under all users here review the list of users that are available to restore in our case we have a only test user 3 one more thing which i want to mention here that once a user is restored licenses that were assigned to the user at the time of the deletion are also restored even if there are no seats available for those licenses if you are then consuming more licenses more than you purchase your organization could be temporary out of compliance for license uses so on deleted users page select the user which you want to restore in our case it is going to be test user 3 let me select the checkbox in front of test user 3 Suppose if you want to permanently delete a user from your organization without waiting the 30 days from automatic deletion, you can click on delete permanently option. But we want to restore the user account, so I'm going to select restore user account button. Click OK on confirmation window to restore the user taste user 3. We got the confirmation that taste user 3 has been restored successfully. Go back to all users page and confirm that the test user 3 is successfully restored. And we can see the test user 3 user account listed on all users page. So that's how we can delete and restore user account in Azure Active Directory. That concludes the video on how to manage user account in Azure Active Directory using Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.